Hey, how's it going everybody today? It's the man child. Okay, so today for review, I'm finally going to get a chance to go over the Masters Universe Origins Cartoon Collection Ram Man figure. So yeah, I had Ram Man for a while along with Mantana and Shira. I reviewed Mantana a while back. Awesome cartoon figure, right? Shira, I still haven't removed that card because I haven't gotten another one. And um, these cards are beautiful, by the way. They just have more of a sturdy feel than the regular Origins cards. I, I mean, the art. And yeah, you know, if you're a mid on card collector, it's hard to separate these figures out of a lot of these cards. But I got to do it for the reviews, you know. Unless I get a figure like Shira, which is a very popular figure, right? That I want to have one in card. So yeah, that's why I didn't remove her. Anyway, I think it's time to go over uh, Ram Man and uh, remove him. And here's a quick look at the art on the back of Ram Man's packaging. So, yeah, we have Ram Man, and this character was called Stanlin, I believe his name was. Um, yeah, they're trying to break into the house of Shikoti. So, you get an accessory that's included with, as seen on the house of Shikoti, which obviously was, a, it was actually a two-part episode in the animation. And Stanlin was a, um, he was an apprentice of a character called Malacta, which was an archaeologist. So, He-Man, Ram Man, Battle Cat, basically, um got help from this archaeologist to find where the House of Shikoti or the House of Darkness was. In this part where you see Ram Man and Stan Stanlin trying to break into the temple was during when Malacta and He-Man were sleeping because they were told to stay away from it. And then you see the tentacles come out of this um, the idol of Shikoti trying to grab Ram Man. And I, th and I think it captured um, Stanlin from what I remember from the episode. And then dropping down to the left-hand side with the picture illustrations... Here's a closer look at that a Shikoti Idol, what it's included, which is a really cool accessory. And then dropping down to here, you can just see that Ram Man can twist into powerful battle positions. And I'm assuming he has the same kind of legs and articulation as the mutated Turtles of Grayskull Ram Man did. And then moving over, here's a quick look at the crossover with all three figures that's included with this cartoon series. Okay, so before we go over cartoon Ram Man and all his accessories, he comes with a new comic. It's the same comic that all three figures comes with in this cartoon series Wave. I already showed it in my Man Tandem review. So maybe you've seen it, maybe you didn't. If not, I'm just going to um, open up the pages. If you want to pause and read it, check out the illustrations, you can. All right, so it yeah, shows a lot of uh, characters, obviously, going to the, back to uh, Shira, the Princess of Power Line, Horde Act, because now they're starting to introduce the Horde in the series. Um, so yeah, we have Mantana out. Horde Act is next, and we also have Leech coming in, I believe, the next wave. Modulock looks cool. Yeah, Maja, the Origins regular Modulock's coming out soon. Mine, mine's out for delivery, I think, on uh, Monday. Coming for delivery. Got the Snake Man, whole battle going on here. I'm just going to bring this in if you want to read it. Right. Swift Wind. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff. Maybe hints to other characters coming to slime. Stand in the background. He man. It's Cal. Uh, and now here's a quick look around with Ram Man, all his accessories out of package, or at least the um yeah, idol piece. Alright, so taking a closer look at the new cartoon Ram Man, as far as the head and face sculpt. Yeah, really cool. I like it. I like that. Um I like the big eyes, the open large eyes with the white painted in them. The large eyebrows, pretty neat. You know, it's um, it just it seems to bring Ram Man's personality out. Again, going back to the filmation, you go back to the vintage inspired Ram Man or Origins first release, which I'm gonna bring him in here real quick. He always had the black doll eyes, and so did him with the cl the uh, classics Ram Man. They were like almost squinting and closed. Never liked that with the Ram Man figures, but this uh, really works for Ram Man. At least the cartoon one has a very serious face tone going on. Like, uh, yeah, he's getting ready to smash through something, which makes sense. Uh, he has a cool, you know, his iconic steel helmet, ramming helmet, um, and then the shoulder piece. As far as the colors, it's a, it's not metallic, but it's just a flat silver tone. Very bright and light, as you can see under my lights. Matter of fact, let me try to adjust it, because it's glaring back in the camera. Um, as far as the head articulation with the helmet on and his armor still on the shoulders... So he can look all the way to the left, right, um, as far as he can go down or look forward. And let me see, as far as he can go back. You notice, too, with the shoulder armor piece, really loose. 
Okay, so it's not snapped to the body. Again, iconic going back to the regular release or vintage inspired Ram Man, where his had a little more detail with the chains, metallic silver color, but this one was actually plugged and glued to the body because I actually removed one of these one time. I'll show you, I'll show you why later for a custom. Now this one, check this out, popped right off the body. So there's a better look at the head without the shoulder armor on. And now we can go all the way to the left, right, as far as we can go down because of this type of helmet and back. And <laughs> look at this. So the, the helmet is actually a separate piece from the face. But if you pull it back, <laughs> it sounds, it's like, yeah, it's not meant to come off. You want to make a custom out of that face. So it is separate, but yeah, it's supposed to be snapped and feels like mine should be glued on. It's not. But anyway, uh, but yeah, pretty cool head sculpt for a Ram Man figure in the cartoon collection. And here's a closer look at that armor off Ram Man's body. So we already talked about the color. Um, yeah, it really does reflect. I got to say that. And again, I don't think it has metallic colors in it from what I can see. Now, this armor is also really hard plastic. It's not your typical rubberized Origins armor, you know, plastics that a lot of their accessories or the armor pieces come with. So be careful with this when you're trying to, like, not that you, normally you would, but see how I'm squeezing it, pushing it back just to show you the flexibility or pulling it out. If you want to try to put it on another figure, this can snap, especially these pieces from what I can feel. So, be, you know, use caution with that. So once again, jumping back over to Ram Man, of course, I put the shoulder armor on so we can take a look at the arm articulation, how it works with the armor on for now, and then we'll remove it later in the head and see what kind of custom stuff we can do. Um, so as far as the arms, so I got to move the armor up so we can take a better look at them for a second. They look like typical cartoon style He-Man arms in a qualm. So I'm going to bring my He-Man in real quick. See that? Yep. Same muscle statics and everything. Same wrist bracer. But the hands are different. They are larger hands. Not a typical... Yeah, new cartoon style hand. They are bigger for Ram Man, which kind of cool, makes sense. So we're dropping the armor back down. Let's check out the uh, right arm. So as far as the articulation with the armor on, you can go all the way up. It, it does hit the armor, moves it off the body a little bit, but it ain't bad. That's kind of a cool design, so it doesn't hinder it too much. Go all the way down to the side, your bot, you know, the body itself. Let me see. Go back. Okay, go forward. Bend. His arm is really tight on his figure. Okay, there you go. You can bend the arm straight out, bend up at the elbow, go all the way to the face. Other arms all the same. Try to mess around here. Here we go. Okay, so yep. All the same with the articulation. And I noticed the hands fall out easy on my figure. The other one did it before. So yeah, they're typical origin style pegs. They pop right back in, but the hands are very loose on this one. Um, all right, so and yeah, the hands are larger, obviously. They're in a semi-gripping pose, so you can hold weapons. And they can spin and go in and out in a hinge joint, but again, they come out very easily. See that one? Pops out too, like almost wants to fall out like the left side did. You have the He-Man style wrist bracers painted silver. All right, so that's pretty much it with the arms as far as the articulation, braces, and the hands. So now we can take the armor back off for a second. Um, so he has his, you know, that big body suit on. These are supposed to be like ties. And he can spin at the waist with that set up and dropping down. He has his... That Roman style battle skirt, I'm gonna call it. Has a belt going around, right, with the belt buckle with the castle gray skull skull kind of thing. Um, again, bringing in the regular Origins Ram Man. He had the larger black belt with a larger buckle. A little different, where this is just simplified for the cartoon. All right, it's the front and the back. And then these pieces down here. So they are set, there's four sections, right? So you have the front section that can bend all the way up. Where normally these pieces would be like slit you know they'd be um separated in these type of battle skirts that's how it would work um but they're in four sections so the front and you got the side pieces that go out and you got these little plug things here i don't know what that's about maybe just to keep it off the body and then you got the whole section to back that goes up like that so it's a soft rubber now moving down to the legs it looks like the same, yep, legs as the Turtles of Grayskull Mutated Ram Man. And I'm going to bring him in for a second. So I'm jumping around here with comparisons. And later on, I'll bring him in for parts. Let me see. Is it kind well, a little bit. Let me see. So, yeah, a little bit. But this design was a little different. It was more hunched. So it seems like it's very similar as far as the upper part of the leg, from what I can see. But the cut's a little different down to the knee because they gave him, like, animal feet. And he has a different piece now. You know, of course, he has those big coiled-up legs like Raymond always did. But now we have articulation. This was a different design because of the mutation. Anyway, 
So it's similar but different. But as far as the articulation with this battle skirt, I'm going to call it, and the legs himself. So let's see, we can go, all right, pretty far out with a split. That's about as far as you're going to go. So that's pretty cool. You have that articulation. How about kicking forward now? All right, so far as you're going to kick forward. So if you bend the other leg back like that, you can somewhat kick forward, but his body's back. Again, it's a lot. It's it's cool for Ram Man because this regular one, the first release of Origins, right? For people not familiar, he was able to bend at the knees and spin at the knees. Um, but that's it. And but he had an action feature that snapped, right, and popped up. Where he doesn't have the action feature now. So most people should know that. But if you don't, no action feature, but much better articulation. All right, and then we can spin at the knee. Let me see. Bend it. How far can we bend at the knee? With this side. Yeah, you can see the joints back there. All right, so you can bend about that far and straighten the leg out. It straightens a lot better than the mutated Ram Man. Um, how about that one? Yeah, mine's just stuck, but it can bend. All right, go out. We did all that stuff. So, pretty good articulation. You can move it all around. Just got to work the joints out. And then moving down, he has... So, yeah, newer style boot. That's articulated. So, you can spin at the boot. And then you got the, the foot that can go up and down and rock side to side. And can these come off? Because the, let me see. Yep. Okay. So they come off. You have a typical origin style pegs. So if you want to put other boots on, you can. And that's pretty cool for customs. Again, going back to the regular release origins ram, and these didn't normally come off. They, they kind of did. I actually broke a pair off and they're a different type of peg for customs, but normally they didn't come off. Um, and then the Turtles of Grayskull ram man. See, he had feet that would remove, and he had this this um, ankle, you know, this big piece going around the boot itself, which was separate. But yeah, it's a whole, you got a whole new set of boots anyway for customs or just for framing, which is pretty cool in the articulation. So I like that they did, you know, they did all that. Now let's break them in half. And then this piece can remove like that, put it back together. And this is pretty much a broken down version of what this cartoon Rayman would look like without any of the armor on. And now moving on to Rayman's accessories. So here's that House of Shakoti idol piece, right? That was on the front of that um, House of Shakoti, the door, the temple. Pretty cool piece, I gotta say. I like that. It just it just balances itself. You could just it could just stand there. But I thought it had a magnet in it. It's interesting how it has these three pieces back there. And I was like, maybe there's a magnet inside the plastic. So I use a metal screwdriver. To see if it was magnetic, it's not. That would have been neat, you know, put it on your fridge or something metal, hang it up on like a wall. I guess you can always glue magnets to the back of it. Side that, that's about it. But it is a cool accessory to include with this cartoon Ram Man. Okay, so before we do a little part swapping with the cartoon Ram Man, I wanted to bring in the classic Shakoti and Lord Mosk. Um, because these are two very important characters or figures going back to the classics and characters going back to the animation. Um, again, because while we're taking a look, still taking a look at this idol piece. Obviously, this is a uh, artifact or idol of Shakoti herself. So, for people who aren't familiar, which I'm sure a lot of us are, that's Shakoti, right? It's her head that was on that door. It, I guess she was controlling it through her powers because she's a witch. So, it was a quick look at Shakoti. In the episode, she also um, controlled some of these flying creatures with tentacles, which is pretty cool. And then it they merged to a larger creature from what I remember in the, like in the swamp or lava or something. Again, I seen an episode a long, a few years ago, I rewatched it from what I remember, but be cool to see these in a Shakoti in the cartoon line. I have a strong feeling we're going to see these come into this series. And then of course, Lord Mosk, he's another really cool character I'd like to see, you know, with this cartoon series. Again, I have a strong feeling he's coming with this line. Um, now he has, these weapons are not meant for him. They were added to the classics to give to like, I think the, um, the futuristic key man from New Adventures, I believe. But anyhow, that's those two together are pretty cool. So hopefully these will come to the cartoon line. And then the other point too, is if you have the classic Shakoti, this artifact or idol work really good with the classics because of the detail with this figure to hang up in the background or add next door with the creatures if you wanted to. So once again, moving forward with some comparisons and mixing a match and parts, um, so as far as mixing and matching of parts and comparisons, really you can only go between this first release of Ram Ramman and the, um, this Turtles of Grayskull Ramman, which I'll bring back in a little bit. All right, so I already kind of compared these two in the beginning of the video a little bit. Um, now we know this one, the only parts that can come off is the arms, the hands, the head, and that's about it. 
Again, you can remove the boots because I did that for a custom Ram Man, which I'm going to I'll bring in soon. But I had to break them off. They were a different style peg. We know the legs don't have the same articulation, right? We know he has the action feature now. And the armor is, it is a different piece on the vintage one. But you ha it's glued and you have to break it off and all that good stuff. Which, so I did that before with my custom I was talking about. I bought a spare one of these on eBay. That was, I think it was broken the legs. And I tried removing parts of the armor. I ripped it. But I wanted it for the arms, the head, and the boots. Again, I'll show you that my custom soon. And then, of course, we know with the cartoon Ram Man, yeah, I mean, hands, arms, the hood of, helmet, of course, head. The armor pops right off. The slower skirt piece comes off. The boots come off, which is pretty cool. So let's see what parts we can switch between these two. Oh, and the other thing, I was thinking, even though he has larger hands, the cartoon Ram Man, you know, they're larger than the cartoon He-Man hands, like I showed. I thought maybe they were using the same hands off this regular release or vintage one but um they look close but these still look different and the vintage ram and also ha originally in the package it came with this helmet for people not familiar maybe you are so it's the same head but this one has the face plate which i liked all right so i'll show you that and he also came with a punch and fist as well i can i guess work on this ram man but the skin tone is a little off and again it's um yeah these are bigger fists than the newer hands on these two Anyway, let's make some parts and see what that looks like. Okay, so the first thing I want to focus on is the regular release Ram Man or Vintage Inspired Ram Man from New Origins. And I just put the cartoon arms on this body so you can see that. It looks pretty cool. And got rid of these big stocky arms. You didn't like that. Um, just left the regular helmet on now with the face shield and put a couple weapons and hands in both, ha both in hands. Yeah, this right hand keeps falling out real easy with mine. It's a real QC issue. I have to tighten it up with like nail clear um, gel coat or something later. Um, but, you know, they do pop in easy and articulate pretty cool. So it gives them some regular or the cartoon muscle aesthetics if you like them instead. So there's a quick look at that setup for people that, yeah, just like the vintage inspired look, the action feature, the boots that spin in and out, the heads. And I want to put some different arms on this figure. And then, of course, the last thing I want to do was put the cartoon Ram Man head on this vintage inspired Ram Man body now. I did put the outer face helmet. You can see I pushed it inside these, you know, the upper armor. But technically, it's not on the ball peg. It will not fit. It can't go down all the way. And again, this armor can't come off easily without ripping it. There is a way. Again, when I did it with the one I, the spare one I got, I ripped it and broke it open. It's um, yeah, it's kind of a custom custom job. But for the most part, you see, if you were just put the helmet on, look, it's not even close to the peg. And if you squeeze these two ends, I already showed, it can just sit there. So it would look like, you know, I, yeah, you can use it like that if you wanted to. But for the most part, you can see in the back, the peg cannot go all the way down and, you know, sit on that peg. And then once again, jumping back over to the cartoon Ram Man, I just put the regular release Ram Man arms, right, in the body. You can see that, big bulky arms, just left the hands on, put an axe in hand. Let's quick look at that setup. Still have the articulation, um, and the same thing with the arms. They articulate, but see how easy they pop out. That's the problem with these. So I'm gonna, let me see, snap them in again. Yeah, they're really loose. All right, so it is in there, but as soon as I articulate it, it wants to fall out, at least that one. How about this side? And maybe that one's a little better. So it might vary, but when you bring your arm all the way up, again, this armor piece is gonna raise off the body. So it's all how you wanna position them. Side that, so quick look at that setup as far as you know, everything we have on is with the head, shoulder armor, and the um, vintage-inspired arms. So the next thing I did was put the vintage-inspired Ram Man helmet or head on with the plate, right, on a cartoon body. We left the, I was going to say vintage Ram Man arms on. There's a quick look at that setup. So yeah, the, obviously this is a really deep metallic silver, which I like that color. It's better than this plastic flat look, but this is, I know what it's doing. I understand what it's doing for the cartoon series. Um... And as far as the articulation, you can look left to right, go down about that far and back. And now, once again, I just put the cartoon Ram Man arms on the cartoon Ram Man body. I took this, removed this helmet, the vintage Ram Man helmet with the faceplate off. I put an axe in one of the hands, right? And I just put the regular um, Ram Man, the vintage, you know, helmet without the faceplate on, on the cartoon body as it comes. So if you want to, you like that setup, you can use that. Articulate's pretty good for what it is. All right, so moving on with the next comparisons, or what we can do as far as mixing and matching the parts, and I wanted to bring in a custom Ram Man I was talking about earlier. Um, 
So yeah, this is my custom Ram Man I made out of a combination of the uh, first release Ram Man. So I already mentioned, I bought a loose one on eBay, right? Said the legs were broken. I used the arms and the helmet, and I broke the boots off. And then I also bought a spare um, Turtles of Grey Skull mutated Ram Man like this figure, right? So I had two of them. This is my my first figure I reviewed, and I bought another one. Or I don't remember if it had a problem, or maybe it was just loose, but. You know the deal is a customizer or a kit basher. You got to buy multiple figures to make the perfect Ram Man you want. And that's what I did with this Ram Man. And what was cool with the Turtles of Grayskull Ram Man, he was very modular as far as the armor and things like that. But he had these feet and he didn't have boots. So I'm going to get him out of the way for a second. And this was what I built. Um, So you can see I just used the helmeted head from the broken eBay one. That's what he came with. I don't even know if they had the second head with him. Probably not. I use the larger style arms like he has, which is pretty cool. The weapons, of course. Um, I did remove the armor off the other one, like I said. And I it ri I broke and ripped it or something like that. Because I was curious how it came off. And I already mentioned I broke the boots off. And they were some type of, you know, like a separate peg. Now, what was cool with this Ram Man is because the Turtles of Grayskull on the background had the new articulation. All that cool stuff. And when you remove the purple feet off, you had these larger... Pieces that represent it like a yeah, spike or heavy boot, you know, top of a boot. So you can see these are the vintage boots that I took off the, the broken eBay Ram Man. And I don't remember if it was like, because when you remove these off this mutated Ram Man, it's a typical boot peg, just like the Origins for, you know, you can put regular boots on them. I think I tried it in a review and it looked weird. And I tried it with this figure too. I didn't like it. Like a small pair of black boots. So anyway, I broke these off somehow. I put it on with some silicone and modified it. It doesn't really have articulation, but you can still kind of spin it to, spin at the knee. And But everything else is all the same with the legs. All right, we talked about the helmet, the arms I put on. And then the other thing was the armor, obviously, from that one. And before I put the armor on this one, I painted the body because it was a... Oh, I probably should have mentioned. I'm sorry. The whole body was from the Turtles of Grayskull Ram Man, so I changed the head and the armor. That's what it was in the boots. All right, and you can see it's silver underneath. So I spray painted that silver because you'd have this gap, like this one has. See, and you just see purple everywhere. And same thing with the neck. So I wanted to hide that to make a Ram Man once I put the leg, you know, the arms and the head on. And then with the neck, I think I cut a piece of that silver out of this Ram Man armor. Around here, if you took the head off, this silver collar piece, once I broke this arm off, I cut it. And that's what I put around the neck. So that's, it's like a, um, like an under armor or something like that. Soft under armor metal piece or something. So that took care of that. And then I painted the body silver. And again, it was like an under armor, I imagined, with the main armor on top of it. Anyhow, for anybody curious who want, you want to make one like this, that's how I did it and what it looks like. So yeah, pretty cool. This is like the ultimate Ram Man for... The origins and compared to this one. So I just, yeah, vintage nostalgia. All right, so I got that out of the way. Um, so bringing in the cartoon Ram Man once again, as far as part swapping and this um, Ram Man here. So let me see what it would look like if we switch the armor pieces from this Ram Man over to the cartoon one. So once again, focusing on a cartoon Ram Man. Of course, I put that Turtles of Grayskull upper armor over his armor. It fit really well. So even though you have a couple of different colors going on here, it's okay. This could be an armor undershirt, and you have the main armor over top, and then the big steel armor over that, right? And I left the cartoon head on. Um, so it's a quick look at that setup, because that matches the bracers. And again, you can mix metals together. And I just left this regular battle kilt, that skirt piece on, before I put this one on. And now, of course, with the same setup, I removed this lower battle armor, uh, battle skirt. And I put the Turtles of Grayskull one on, a cartoon Ram Man, left the arms and the head on. There's a quick look at that setup. And, you know, you still have decent articulation for Ram Man. You can kind of do a split and kick far a little bit in back. But, again, much better articulation than that regular release Ram Man has that we got in the Origins. And once again, with the same setup, or as we're continuing to convert them to a uh, customized Ram Man. So I just removed the cartoon head and put the regular release Ram Man hood with the faceplate on. Looks awesome, really cool because of the articulation and again that new body. So there's a quick look at that setup. And then of course with the same setup, the last thing I wanted to do was put the original release Ram Man arms on this um you know cartoon body. So we have a customized Ram Man, right? And here's again, here's my Turtles of Grayskull Ram Man. So he's it looks pretty close. It ain't bad. So if you didn't want to go through all that stuff that I just showed, 
and you had the Charles Gray Skull Ram Man, and you got the cartoon one, you want to convert them, or you want to buy two, or however you want to do it, you can make a really awesome Ram Man, because the articulation of size is pretty close, even the body styles. Again, I had to paint the silver inside, and things I try to hide, but you don't have to do it with this one, because he already has the reds on the body, the neck piece is red, so that works with the silver armor. Pretty cool. So that about sums it up, and that's my overall review on the new Mass Universe Origins Cartoon Collection Ram Man figure. Yeah, it came out really cool. It's uh, really fun to finally have Cartoon Ram Man in the cartoon line. Looks good next to uh, He-Man. Good size. I like the um, yeah, I like those arm aesthetics. This idol statue, of the Shakoti, came out really cool. You know, not only does it mix well with the Cartoon Origins collection, but it can even go with the classics because you know the overall detail on it. I wish it had a little piece you can hang in the back, or these were magnets to put it up on something metal like your fridge or just in the background. You can always add something. It's just meant to stand up. But aside that, really awesome accessory. And the other thing with this Rayman too is you can make some really cool customs because of the overall body, the removable boots, the arms, and the head like I showed. Whether you have the Turtles of Grayskull Rayman, the first release one, you can make something very close to this one I made, which I think just came out awesome for your regular Origins collection. Or you can just keep them as your cartoon collection Ram Man, which I'm going to do because I already have all these figures. So, yeah, it's just uh, it's finally fun to see another heroic character added to this cartoon collection. In this case, Ram Man. So glad I have him. So, as always, I appreciate everybody watching. Until next time, take care.